According to information published by Caspian News on April 20, 2023, the Iranian Navy has announced that it now possesses advanced drones equipped with sonar detection technology capable of detecting submarines. Rear Admiral Sharam Irani, the commander of the Iranian Navy, stated that young Iranian experts had developed and constructed these drones. He also stated that the Iranian Navy is committed to maintaining maritime security for the benefit of the region and the world, amid rising tensions with the US and Israel. The Persian Gulf has seen several attacks on tankers in recent years, often occurring during periods of heightened regional tensions with Iran. In response to the deployment of the USS Florida, a nuclear-powered guided missile submarine, to the Middle East, Irani cautioned that Iranian forces were closely monitoring the activities of US vessels in the region. In November 2019, Iran unveiled a naval VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, called Pelican 2 during a Navy defense exhibition in Tehran. The Pelican 2 UAV is a military drone developed by specialists from the Navy of the Islamic Republic of Iran. It has undergone field tests and inspections before being used for military missions. The UAV is equipped to conduct precise surveillance of the environment, surface ships, and to target enemy ships when necessary. It is capable of deep penetration and conducting special patrols and reconnaissance missions as required. During the first major drone exercise of the Army, the Pelican 2 UAV performed exceptionally well demonstrating its ability to carry out military missions in areas where manned aircraft cannot be used. Its specifications and design enable it to meet most mission needs in specific situations. The Pelican 2 UAV can take off from most naval missile vessels and carry out reconnaissance operations, as well as assisting in launching missiles within a range of 100 kilometers. This significantly increases the range and accuracy of the Navy's missile systems, as well as improving the accuracy of naval artillery fire. The use of the Pelican 2 UAV in the country's defense and military industry can improve the accuracy of targeting bullets from ships and vessels, and increase the range of missile systems. Meanwhile, leading experts have warned Iran's drone technology must be countered with a range of strategies to meet the growing threat. In a policy forum at the Washington Forum on Thursday, General Kenneth McKenzie outlined how Iran drone technology is being exported and having a battlefield effect in Ukraine. Now executive director of the Global and National Security Institute at University of South Florida, the retired U.S. general said Iran has developed its drone technology to a point where it has an overmatch capability against its neighbors, allowing it to overwhelm their defenses. He added that he believes Iran values their drones as much as their nuclear program. The defense against the Iranian drone program is an integrated air and missile defense, in which the United States and allies share information in a way that does not impinge on individual state sovereignty, according to McKenzie. who emphasized the importance of meeting the threat to counter Iran's influence. Russia has used hundreds of Iranian shot suicide drones to attack Ukrainian infrastructure and try to overwhelm Kiev's air defenses during large-scale missile attacks.
announcing new sanctions on Iran's military procurement networks, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Thursday, the United States remains firmly committed to taking action to disrupt Iran's military programs and its procurement networks. Damien Spleters, Deputy Director of Operations at Conflict Armaments Research, explained how disrupting supply chains for components and materials that go into Iran's drone program can counter their capabilities. The Islamic Republic needs parts that are produced abroad to sustain their drone program, said Spleters, who added that both Russian and Iranian weapons depend upon components and technology from the West. Spleters called for cooperation from companies involved in both the manufacture and distribution of parts in order to trace the supply chain. However, he warned that Iran is attempting to reduce the footprint of the supply chains from non-domestic sources going into its weapons systems and engineering program. If successful in their attempts to hide the identity of their suppliers, Iran will increasingly be able to defy sanctions. Valerie Linke oversees the Iran Watch website as the Wisconsin Project on Nuclear Arms Control, where she is executive director. She described Iran's drone technology as mature and diversified, and the product of state-run producers in Iran, working on design and manufacture, served by private companies in the Islamic Republic providing procurement and services.